After a fight erupted on the debate stage among Democratic presidential candidates in Las Vegas over Mike Bloomberg's use of non-disclosure agreements for his employees, a fellow candidate, Senator Elizabeth Warren, wrote him up a contract of her own. The former law professor said at a CNN town hall Thursday night that she created a release and covenant not to sue, and all Bloomberg has to do is sign it. She posted the contract on Twitter for the benefit of the women who accuse him of sexual harassment. Warren went after Bloomberg at the debate for the use of the NDAs and his alleged treatment of women. Democrats are not going to win if we have a nominee who has a history of hiding his tax returns, of harassing women and of supporting racist policies like redlining and stop and frisk. Bloomberg's campaign did not respond to our request for comments. All right, let's bring in tonight's A Plus panel. We are joined by social commentator Lisa Durden. Good to see you, Lisa. Of course. <laughs> and communication strategist Ronica Cleary. Good to see you, Ronica. Good to be here, Bill. Ronica, I'll start with you on this. Okay. Um, this is a shining moment for Elizabeth Warren. I mean, her campaign, I think, was all but dead until this melee on, on the uh, debate stage. And now she's keeping it going. I think it's way beyond the actual substance of the agreement. I think it's played brilliantly. One of the most difficult things for female candidates to do is to highlight women's issues without being put into a box and being told they're just playing the woman card. The way Elizabeth Warren handled that in the debate, she highlighted an important issue as it relates to women in the workplace, but she did it in a way that connected with the entire audience. Lisa, this debate happened Wednesday night. We are still talking about that Absolutely. exchange on Friday. Somehow Warren, who was way <laughs> down in all the polls, Absolutely. managed to become the subject. What do you think? When Bill Spadia is saying that Elizabeth Warren was brilliant, it tells the whole <laughs> United States of America that she tore them up. She killed it. It really highlighted the narcissism of Michael Bloomberg. He simply said, well, I just said a few jokes. No apology, he didn't care. We want to note that Mike Bloomberg did clear the way Friday afternoon for three women to be released from the non-disclosure agreements. These women are believed to have accused the former New York City mayor of sexist or misogynistic comments. Thanks, guys.